Good morning everybody from beautiful Edinburgh here in Scotland. I arrived yesterday from Istanbul and today I'm going to be starting a four day epic road trip across the highlands here and the Isle of Skye. I can't wait. I'm running really late so I need to jump on the bus and head there now. I'm heading with Rabbies and I can't wait so let's go. So much sought after part of the city So to kick off this incredible trip towards the highlands of Scotland, I'm working my way towards Fort William, which is up in the northwest of Scotland. I'm beginning the day here at the Kelpies, which are the huge hall sculptures by an incredible Scottish sculptor. The canals behind me are amazing and beautiful, and it's a really nice day here in Scotland, which is pretty much unheard of here in winter. There are many dog walkers across the canal, and yeah, it's a great start, and I'm very happy to be here. We finally left the lowlands of Scotland, past the fault line, and we're finally here in the beautiful highlands of Scotland. I've just made it to Loch Lomond, which as you can see is now shrouded in cloud. The thing with the highlands, especially in winter, is it gets so wet and so windy. The lock is really, really high, my guide was saying, because of how much rain has recently been hitting this area. A lot of snow on the mountains. It's beautiful. <laughs> So I've just arrived at a very, very windy Loch Tula viewpoint. You can see the lock just over here. The sun slowly starting to come out. Hopefully, inshallah, it continues. You can see the rolling, rolling mountains covered with snow, clouds rolling over, and it is just sublime. This landscape is phenomenal and it's so beautiful. As you can see behind me, these are the famous Three Sister Peaks. They say it's like Three Sisters because they look like three faces coming out of the mountain face. All covered in snow, shrouded and being hugged by the beautiful clouds. Behind there is Bujin Nam Bian, I think I'm pronouncing that right. The huge mountain which sits at over 4,000 feet. This landscape, I really just can't believe it. It is so beautiful. Even on cloudy days like this where there's snow and it's really, really cold. For me, it just adds to the charm. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to make it to Fort William later and discover more. I'm very happy. One of the best things about coming here to the Highlands is there's so many hiking paths and treks where you can walk across the beautiful Highlands. And I'm here in Glencoe, which has over 200 waterfalls. And people say that because of that, it looks like the mountains are crying. You can see all of the clouds here. I'm really just 
blown away by the natural beauty here. All you can hear are birds and the river which is running through the center of the valley. I mean, could this landscape get any more picturesque? Stunning. <laughs> Okay, so I've just arrived here into Fort William, which is the largest town here on the west coast of Scotland. I've just arrived at my guest house, which is Myrtle Beach Guest House. This is roughly about 65 to 70 pounds per night, which is a great price for here in Scotland. I found that the prices in Scotland are actually very expensive. And because I've been away for quite a long time, almost two years out of the UK, I forgot how expensive things are in the UK compared to the other destinations I travel to. But it's a beautiful guest house and the staff are really kind and really nice showing the true Scottish hospitality. So I'm going to get a good night's rest, go and explore a little bit of Fort William. It's currently raining a lot, so I don't know how much exploring I will really do, but I'm going to get a good sleep and I'll see you tomorrow for day two of this epic road trip across the Highlands of Scotland. <laughs> Good morning everybody, day two on this incredible road trip across Scotland. I've woken up to the most beautiful views here in Fort William. This guest house was amazing. It's time to jump in the bus and enjoy the rest of the journey across the Highlands. So I'm heading further west today towards Glenfinnan. It's a really windy and very cold day but I'm here to see a beautiful Ben Nevis mountain. This is the tallest mountain, not only in Scotland, but in the whole of the UK. It's a beautiful day today because you can actually see the peak. Usually it's clouded, especially in winter. I think later the weather will be getting really, really bad. So I'm glad to see this beautiful mountain. And one day, hopefully, inshallah, I'll be able to climb it and get to the top of it. It's very, very cold. <laughs> I've just finally made it to beautiful Glenfinnan. This view is just spectacular. This is Loch Shield behind me. And just over here is the very famous viaduct from Harry Potter. I know a lot of you guys love Harry Potter, just like I do. I don't think I've watched that series less than a hundred times each episode. I love it, so it's very special being here. This view is spectacular, but it's so cold. Man, Scotland is just blowing my mind. It's so beautiful. artificial uh, locks like this one. Some of them are partly natural locks uh, that have been sort of dammed up and extended and um, but most of uh, these little valleys that have just had rivers running through them that dug the dams and uh, so we so a bit about rewilding projects in here called Shield Bridge. You can have another wee wonder around here. So one of the most famous oh. So one of the most famous spots here on the west coast of Scotland is the Aline Donan Castle as you can see behind me it's just started raining really heavily we've done so well to avoid the rain I don't think I could be actually British without talking about the weather 20 times throughout this video, so I'm sorry about that. This castle was built a few hundred years ago and destroyed and then rebuilt in the 1900s. It is so cold now, but the view is so beautiful. 
we're continuing our journey across to Skye. We're really, really close. We're gonna cross over the bridge because in the winter, the ferry doesn't actually work and we're still currently in March. So yeah, it's beautiful. Let's head to Skye. <laughs> Okay, so almost at the end of day two on this epic road trip across Scotland and the Highlands. We've just taken a 30 minute detour to a tiny town called Plockton, which is on the coast of Loch Carron. And as you can see, it's covered by beautiful mountains, islands in the center with houses, boats. There's a castle just here. It's a very cute and quaint small town here on the coast and it's beautiful. It's raining, it is very, very cold, but it's still so cute and I like it a lot. It reminds me of a typical beautiful scene here in Scotland with cute cottages and nice people and of course rain. So let's head inside, take some shelter, grab a coffee before heading further to the Isle of Skye and finally we'll arrive there later in maybe about one hour. That's pretty high. So I can tell it's been lashing down the rain all day on Sky. Hey, good morning everybody from a beautiful day here on my third day here across the Highlands. Today I'm on the Isle of Skye. Last night when I arrived it was so wet and so windy so I didn't get a chance to head out but as you can see this morning it's a beautiful start, clear blue skies and I'm here on the northern part of the island to check out the Fairy Glens which holds a lot of folklore, myths and legends which I'll tell you about in just a second but as you can see the snow-capped peaks, beautiful waterfall behind me you have the sheep grazing and just the rolling hills it's so so beautiful and on a morning like today it couldn't get any more stunning so the reason this area is called fairy glen is because the people on the isle of sky and other areas actually believe in fairies and they believe that the fairies live here so just imagine this these are all the fairy houses and the paths around the outside are created by the fairies dancing at night. Now there's an old folklore and myth saying that the fairies actually play music and they invite locals to come and dance with them. And it's said that the fairies live in a completely different time zone. So when you're invited in and you're drinking Scottish whiskey and you're dancing with the fairies all night and you wake up slightly sore head and you go outside when they say you can leave, you wake up and you go outside and things look similar but as you continue journeying back home things are nothing quite like they were when you entered the fairy houses and if you remember i said they live in a completely different time zone so everything as you enter the outside is from the future and this is where the fairies apparently live and to enter the area they say the locals say that you need to believe in fairies because apparently a lot of people have been coming here that don't quite believe in fairies and they brought a lot of bad luck onto the locals so yeah, that's the myth and the legends of the fairies here in the Fairy Glen. It's a beautiful, beautiful day and it's so peaceful. I've just made it here to the beautiful Kerrang, which is in the northern part of the Isle of Skye. It was actually created roughly about 25 million years ago when really heavy lava flow landed on top of the softer landscape and it created these rolling hills that go towards the coast. You can see the beautiful landscape here. It's actually one of the top 10 landscape photography spots in the whole of Europe. And on a day like today, it really is so so special you can see the clouds just rolling over the huge snow-capped peaks in the distance i've got a waterfall just down here and it's stunning i can imagine here in summer it would be beautiful even on a really cold winter's day it's stunning so i can just imagine the sky bright pink and bright red during the sunset watching the sun go down it's really stunning i'm now walking up to one of the higher viewpoints here and by the landscape it's phenomenal. Wow. Let's head down here. Oh, look at all of this. this is just stunning. 
it is so windy but it's actually making the clouds look like feathers so it's so beautiful it's very 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 cold though but yeah Scotland is so stunning and if you're a photographer coming here this is a spot you have to come to especially in the summer during sunset